Hello all. Uh, this is a quick demo video to show uh, how to run this checkpoint migration uh, tool um, that we have. So uh, we will be using the checkpoint uh, web visualization uh, dump as our input. So this is how uh, a typical web visualization uh, output would look like. It would be in a tar file. And if I try to unzip it, these are the files that you would typically see the index page, um, the network management page, and then the, uh, let me quickly show the index page, make sure that I don't have anything that I can't really share. So you would see all these different uh, layers of policies, cluster related information, uh, IPS configuration policy related information, NAT policy, network related uh, policy, and service objects. So um, the tool that we're going to use is going to kind of migrate all these uh, IP um, application services and security rules uh, to the OCI firewall. So um, let me show you. I will not be able to unfortunately show you the policy, but then these are the typical uh, contents that you would find in a checkpoint uh, web visualization dump. And then these can be migrated using this tool uh, in one go. Um, so let me show you, this is my uh, personal tenancy and uh, I will need to information from here uh, to do this. Making a note of my, my compartment ID, which I will need. And let me also open the visualization. So, Hang on for a second. Sorry, I had to go away to get my OCI uh, CLI sorted, mm, uh, which is done now. So um, here we go. So in when we log into the, uh, when we unzip the tar file, these are the contents that you would see. And uh, two most important uh, JSON files that we will need. The script needs is the standard objects JSON. And then um, the network management server, JSON. These are the two uh, files that uh, the script would use as, the tool would use as an input and then convert them to the uh, Oracle uh, cloud security rules. So this is the, uh, there's a readme file that you would be able to download the, which kind of explains the usage instructions again. And this is the script. All I have to do is just move the script. Mm -hmm. To the demo and you will see it here and then uh, i'll go to the script make sure i have access the script has access to these uh, these object files uh, the json files that uh, the checkpoint dump uh, web, web visualization dump creates generates and then uh, i i I have uh, the Visual Studio, so I'm able to just run it from here. And once runs, once it, uh, it runs, it's, it creates uh, the IP address list, OCI application uh, conversion list, or OCI security rules. Uh, it kind of splits this into three JSON files, and then it gives you an option to either create a new firewall policy, uh, update the existing firewall policy or even, you know, just simply exit. If you don't wish, you don't have an OCA CLA configured, then uh, what you do is just exit and then use these JSON files that you see here. IP address list JSON, the security rules version two JSON and the application list JSON. Um, the security rules, there are two versions of uh, security rules. One is the rules that gets converted from the OCA firewall from the checkpoint firewall rule base to uh, the OCA firewall um, as is, but then there's one change the way how uh, OCA firewall works. It will not let you create policies with uh, ICMP and non-ICMP uh, services in one rule. So I had to kind of write a logic to segregate those rules and then uh, create a version two uh, of that same JSON file. So you'd be able to see all of that explained in the code. Uh, you should be able to see that. I'd also try to explain that in the uh, in my blog post as well. So here we go. So uh, all I have to do here is just say one, and it would ask me for the compartment ID. 
uh, which I've made a note of already here. This. And I go back to my. And give it this display name. Test. Let me also bring up the, uh, the OCA console so that you see what, what happens when I run this trip. Um, the security firewall policies. Yeah. Go to let me minimize this and try to have a parallel screen. Hide this now, and I'm just giving it a name called test, and it asks for my profile name because since I'm I have my OCCLA configured, um, I have uh, I'm entering my profile name uh, so that it. Fix. Uh, I also have a passphrase. Okay, so that creates um, that creates the a policy that you would see that would appear in a minute here. There you go. Test is the policy. It's just an empty policy. You will not see any rules created uh, inside of this at this point in time. It's just cre creating this policy. And it would also give you the OSID of that policy here, which would be used in the... So now, uh, let's say if you don't have uh, this Visual Studio and you just have a terminal, you would run the same code as uh, this. Say Python 3 and checkpoint. And just same, same results. So, if you if you have a terminal, then you execute it like that. And then now if I choose option two, it will ask me for the network policy ID, which is just this. I copied it from here. Uh, it's up and paste it here. And then now it would ask me for my um, the profile. I will say default. The profile name uh, is my uh, OCCLA tenancy access to profile ID. So I am entering a passphrase, I've protected my key. So now what it does is it's trying to um, uh, I, I update the IP address list and, um, and it would also try to, after updating the IP address list, you will see the list is numbers have increased now, if you see. Um, And it's also updating the application list. Uh, again, you would see the lists increasing. Unfortunately, I will not be able to show you the object names because it's an actual firewall rules and it won't be fair if I uh, share uh, those details. Um, so once this command runs, it would end up, you would see even the rules up here. So these are all the, the security rules uh, that uh, the rule base had. And um, I've also named the rule with the, num with the numbers of uh, the rule number. So you'll be able to quickly compare with your checkpoint or rule base uh, since it's going to be an as is migration. But then the num total number of rules, let's say this rule had uh, 151 rules, but then um, uh, you would see more than 151 rules. You will see 171 rules. The reason being, as I explained before, there are few rules that has ICMP services and OCA firewall expects you to write those ICMP uh, rules separately. So if that's the case, then um, I had to kind of split the same rule into two rules and then write it again. So um, that's why you will see that uh, difference. However, the total number of rules should remain the same as is with the with the name, you'd be able to figure that out. And you would also see few uh, rules missing in between, like after 43, 44, you would find 45 and 46 missing. That's because uh, 
the rules, those rules were disabled and the checkpoint visualization uh, dump, whatever is marked as uh, disabled is not getting migrated because you don't have really have an option to disable enabled rules inside uh, OCA firewall at this point in time. So then that's the reason uh, why we've not migrated those rules at this point in time. So yeah, hopefully this this helps, uh, you know, ease up your uh, pain in getting your um, firewall rules migrated to uh, RFE Cloud Firewall. There's one more thing I wanted to quickly share. Um, so let's say you don't have this OCA CLI configured in your, um, in your, um, uh, in your desktop, which is pretty easy. I'm also going to give you a link with which you'll be able to uh, um, get that uh, done. However, if you do not have OCA firewall policy configured, and let's say you want to, uh, um, you, all you have to do is just drag drop these files that you have here that we've created, the IP address list JSON, uh, the network management, uh, I'm sorry, IP address uh, list JSON, the security rules version two JSON, and then um, uh, the application list uh, JSON. Where is that? There you are, the first one, application list JSON. These are the three files that you would need. So first we will install IP address list JSON and then application list JSON. By calling those JSON files in the OCA CLI, it should get, uh, I leave you the commands that you can run here. All you have to do is just drag and drop those files. You would be able to uh, upload those files, drag and drop those files here. Okay, let's miss Jason. So I upload the IP address to JSON and I also upload the uh, uh, application with JSON. Okay, let, I can't show you uh, other details. Hang on. So let me just upload it one by one. Mm -hmm. Upload the uh, security rules. Jason. Now you'd see all of the those files uploaded in your uh, in my home directory, and from here you can run OCA commands uh, to up create and uh, update these policies. I leave those commands uh, in my blog post for you to, you know, just uh, see what commands that you'll have to run. There are like only three commands. If you go through the uh, code, uh, you would also know the commands, but then I'll still paste that then in the, in the script. Yeah, um, I'm sorry, in the blog, blog post.